Hey guys, it's Polly in Revelation chapter 2, verse 21 through 29. We read about the churches of Pergamos and Thyatira. Both churches started out well, but Jesus wanted to let them know that they were both compromising in their faith. What? What's compromise? Is that like a new martial art? Compromise! What? No, not at all. Compromising in your faith is when you start putting something before your relationship with Jesus. Both of these churches were doing that. Yeah, and they let sinful practices into their churches. Well, that's lame. Why would they do that? It can be easy to lose focus and let a little sin into our lives. Uh, you know, a little at a time. Yeah, but before you know it, your focus is not on Jesus at all. Oh, then we all need to be careful to keep focused on Jesus and put him first. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Still, Jesus made promises to both churches if they turned away from their compromise. Jesus promised the church of Pergamos a white stone with a new name written on it. Yeah, that stone has been known to symbolize innocence or righteousness. Wow, the new name. I know this one. We know that from the Bible, God has often renamed those he has loved. Yeah. I just gotta do that noise again. <laughs> Kids, don't try that at home. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Jesus loved these churches and didn't want them to compromise. Yeah, but these churches would be taught a tough lesson if they didn't turn back to him. So, I was pondering, when have you ever had to be taught a tough lesson uh, because you wouldn't listen? Huh? Let's check it out. Shaw, sure, dude, one time I wanted to practice like my barrel rolls for a uh, surfing competition. So I thought I could just practice in the dryer, dude. Sha -ha 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 -ha. Even though grandma warned me not to do that. No, don't do that, Pongo. Yeah, it's still like burned in my mind. I'm telling you, Pongo, if you do that, you're not gonna like it. Shaw, sure, Grandma, I've been like surfing for years, so like, uh, I think I know what I'm doing. Shaw. Sure. Well, if you say so. Okay, here I go, dude. I'm going in. I'm going in. What? 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 Oh, oh, dude, turn off. Oh, uh, Grandma. I didn't think that, like, uh, helped as much as I thought it would, and, uh, oh, I think I barfed in the dryer a little bit. Shaw. <laughs> oh, uh. That's why I told you not to. Luckily, you get to clean up all your barf. Okay, Grandma. Oh, I totally should have listened to you. It's scary in there. Oh, and I'll clean up my barf. Oh, God gives us warnings through his word and like the, uh, the adults in our lives. Yeah, just like the seven churches in Revelation. It's a good idea to listen when God gives us warnings. Shaw, dude. Shaw. And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh yes, in Revelation chapter 2 verse 26 it says, And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, to him I will give him power over the nation. Mm -hmm. Even if we turn away from God, he promises us to reward us if we turn back to him. You believe that? Oh, you gonna be blessed. Guaranteed. It makes me so happy that I can always turn to Jesus, especially when I have a nightmare about Darth Vader smashing my stuffed animals oh, because they didn't fulfill their mission. 
You have failed me for the last time. Darth Vader sure is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Oops. Excuse me. Jesus loves you. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. bye.